Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what does he say about you behind your back? I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what does he say about you behind your back? I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you to the card representing the Father of Cups. And this is a emotional person, okay? Uh, this person is considered to be always in his feelings. And with the cup energy, you are seeing here the zodiac signs of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces in the sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus as a confirmation here in his reading. In this reading, in his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. But what I'm picking up here with the Father of Cups energy is that what he's saying behind your back is that he is the one that is right. When it comes to some sort of discord that did take place in a relationship, some sort of communication that he was always open forthright and honest with you from the beginning of the relationship. And so that is what he's saying behind your back. I do feel like maybe you do have a child or children with this person, or he did or does want you to have children with him, or he has a child. He is seen as a father figure. And so, which is why some people you know, they kind of side-eye him, you know, when he does speak about you because they're like, no, I feel like she's been very loyal to you. You know, when I talked to her and when I, you know, communicated with her or when I was in her presence, she treated me really good and there was no contradictory behavior that she did show me. So people really side-eye him a lot, except for other men, I feel like. I feel like other men, some men believe what he's saying, but then some men are like, no, buddy, you cannot convince me of that. She is a good person. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What does he say about you to other people? What does he say about you behind your back? And you have here the King of Swords. <laughs> Look at the King of Swords showing up, communicating, speaking. I love the King of Swords showing up, especially because that's the title of the reading, him speaking, communicating about you. And with the King of Swords energy, this is about his intentions. He's very strategic with his thoughts and, and the way that he speaks to other people about you. He tries to make sure that he doesn't bash you or say anything too bad because he knows that that would make him look bad. Some people, he will go a little bit over the top, but for the most part, most of the conversation, he won't speak bad about you. But let me just tell you this, in his own personal thoughts, he's very resentful of the relationship and how you are standing up for yourself, how you have communicated to him that, hey, I deserve to be treated in a manner that is respectful and how you have raised your standards. And I feel like you've shown him this 
rather than spoke it. Although you've said a, quite a few things to him, but you know, you're the type of person that's like, hey, I can show you better than I can tell you. And he's really feeling that right now. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. How does he think and feel about you? What's happening, spirit? What is going on? Look at this, Virgo, the alchemist in the top placements of the birth chart, his birth chart, or your birth chart. So we got Virgo, that's earth energy. We got the swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in those placements of the birth chart. Then you got Virgo here. What he is saying about you is he's saying that you are very smart. That That's one thing he's saying. As seen here with this uh, Virgo energy, he's saying you're very um, efficient, efficient as well. Um, he is saying that you're kind of like, you know, you're into the occult, you're like witchy and you're, you know, you're spiritual and, but he knows that your intentions are good. And when you source energy, your energy that you source is from a high vibration. It's from being in alignment with the God source within you. And he knows that, but I feel like sometimes he's being very shady and he's like, yeah, she loves crystals. She reads these books and man, I'm just like, I don't know about her, but he knows better because he knows you. And, um, also he tells other people that you have cut him off, like you've went into solitude. You've cut him off. You've cut other family members off as well. He tells people that you want him to be perfect and that there is no perfect person. He tells people that you are not perfect and you have the nerve to want him to be perfect because you are a perfectionist. Um, but I beg to differ because I feel like you feel like there is a perfect person for you. And yes, there are perfect people for other people. And so there is a such thing as a twin flame or even a soulmate. And so, but he speaks differently. Um, he does feel like you're very discerning as well. Um, he tells people that you have your defenses up, you have your guards up, you're not taking his calls, you're not allowing him to, if you have kids with him, he's telling people you're not allowing him to see his kids, although I feel like his, if you do have children with him, his kids are old enough to give him a call, like they're teenagers or just older kids, you know, where they have their own cell phones and they can call him if they want, but he's saying you're blocking that connection and you're definitely not. Um, and something also to do with communication with other family members. So yeah, he's feeling like you're just totally going into hermit mode and doesn't want to be bothered with him. But let's get more insight. What does he say about you behind your back? This guy is something else. I just want to tell you that. So here, this is reflection. And what reflection it says Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I love reflection showing up, especially since Spirit just gave us the insight that you are definitely going into hermit mode, but it is for your own spiritual illumination. You are taking time out for yourself for self-care, balancing your mind, body, and spirit because this guy is really a lot here. I feel like with the reflection energy, I feel like he does kind of mirror you some things that you do like he does mirror your personality a bit because he is definitely inspired by you and he um is a bit envious of you as well so but of course he's not telling people he's envious of you he's just mirroring you in some way some of your characteristics the way you speak about the universe the way you speak about energy and just the way you live your life you're very fun and free flowing very you know inquisitive you know you are a seeker of knowledge and he tries to pretend that he's that way as well because he thinks it's really cool and so he'll mirror you in a lot of ways so let's get more insight oh what does he say about you and you have here the polar bear mystic 
I love the polar bear showing up with mystic because this is in correlation here with the Virgo alchemist energy. It's also in correlation with the Scorpio energy of the father of cups with being a mystery with you going into solitude. So that's a very strong confirmation. Thank you, spirit. And so with the polar bear and mystic, he's telling people that he feels like you do have some secrets that you are hiding from him, that you are not sharing with him. He is saying to some people that he does have faith that the relationship connection could become a lot stronger. Um, this is also, again, the polar bear mystic energy is about how you are taking time out to rest, to dream, and to renew your strength. That's what you're doing. But he's saying that you are blocking him. You are not speaking to anyone. You have even cut off some of your toxic family members. And like that's a bad thing. Come on now. So that's what he's saying. But Mm, it's also about you embracing your psychic abilities. He speaks on you being very psychic, <laughs> you know, but he speaks on it in a way where like, especially to people that don't understand so that they can judge you and he can sit on the phone and talk to them about you. But you do embrace your psychic abilities and it's something about how you carry the shaman within you. You are really about spirituality as well as being in alignment with your physical nature, earth, earth energies as well. So I feel like he just doesn't truly, he understands you. He does understand you, but he's jealous. I'm just going to tell you straight off. He's jealous. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. How does he feel about you? What does he say behind your back? That's really the thing. What is he saying about you behind your back? Here you go, Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups, water, energy. Again, Father of Cups, Eight of Cups. He's talking about how you did things so fast and you did them, you know, you changed up on him really quickly. He didn't expect you to change your emotions like that. Cup energy representing those emotions. Um, how you withdrew from him and you went into this retreat mode. You know, he's just speaking about that all the time. You just changed up. You decided to move on. And he said like you abandoned him in some way. And that's how he's speaking about you. And he feels he's saying that he didn't see it coming. Um, you just cut him off. And it's something he really did not expect. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What does he say about you behind your back? And you have here, Knight of Wands. <laughs> Why didn't I see this coming? Yes, I did. <laughs> With the Knight of Wands energy, let me point out, this is fire sign energy. Free-spirited fire signs. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of the birth chart, sun, moon, or rising, seventh house or relationships, or the planet Venus in his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. Let me point out that with the Knight of Wands energy, he sank. Now, get ready for this. <laughs> He is saying that you are like very lusty, like you are lusty, like sexual, like, you know, you, you, you love sex, which I mean, if it's healthy and if it's with the right person, of course you do. But he is saying something different, you know, and God bless this guy, because this is really um, you are definitely, um, healthy, you know, sexually and sensual. And, and he really sees this in you. He actually loves this about you, but he's saying to someone else behind your back that basically you're nasty. Maybe you cheated on him with someone else in a sexual way. And that's a hundred percent false. And he knows that it is false. Also free spirited and creative you are. So again, that's about your nature here. And he's really, he tries to um, um, mirror your free spirited nature, but he just can't keep up because it's not his natural energy. And he tries to be creative as well. And 
you know, he does tell people though that you are a very creative person, that you do have goals that you do um, complete. Some people that he don't want to know that he's salty about the relationship or he's jealous of you, he will tell them things like, oh yes, she's very smart. She's very creative. She's into this. She's into that. I do respect her for that. That's one thing I will give her is this. So yeah, but to those people that he don't want to know, that he's jealous of you, it's he'll say, oh, you don't know, man, she's nasty. She's lusty. She's this, she's that. And that is a bold faced lie. It's just you're sexy and you know it and you're sensual and he's jealous and you're very attractive. And so you do attract that alpha male attention. And that's not your fault. You were born with it. And you grew into it. You're just a just divine feminine energy here. You're a go-getter, but yet and still you're very emotionally connected. And you have a high intuition as well. So group two, group one, group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what does he say about you behind your back? I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can see here that your energy, it's naturally attracted to the car representing the five of cups. And with the five of cups energy, I am picking up from your person. What he's saying behind your back has something to do with his emotions and how he feels about the relationship connection. So first off, he's feeling regret about something he did in the relationship. He's feeling abandoned and he's also feeling sorry for himself. So there's some grief here surrounding the connection with you. He's feeling unloved and he's telling people that behind your back, he's telling people that you, some people, it's different. There, There's two different sets of people or three that he's talking to, but uh, um, a certain sector, he's saying that he regrets what he did, what he said, how he treated you. He said that he did apologize to you, but you are not accepting his apology. So that's what's really making him feel regret right now is because you did not go back running to him. You know, I feel like he gave this guy a lot of chances, many chances over and over and over again till you just did not have any more energy to give him. But let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How does, what does he say about you behind your back? What is he saying? Look at the page of cups showing up. Page of cups emotional energy, two cup cards showing up. This is a synchronicity, especially with the two cups cards showing up back to back and you are group two. So group two, 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 two is a significant synchronistic number for you and you're encouraged at the end of your reading to look up the number 222 and see the message that your spirit guides have for you. But let's continue. What he's saying about you behind your back with this page of cups energy, let me tell you something. It's about like a new love. He's very concerned that you're in a new relationship and that you're giving someone else your attention, your undivided attention, your emotional attention. He feels like also that you... Maybe volunteering somewhere. And that's probably because you do have a very charitable nature. You're very generous. And so he's telling people that you volunteer somewhere as well. But let's get more insight. So what is he saying about you behind your back? Let's get the cards together. What is he saying about you behind your back? 
and you have here. Look at this freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So with the freedom card, I am picking up Sagittarius energy in the sun, moon, or rising. The seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus here in his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And did I point out here the cups energy is that water, zodiac sign, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces as well. So you're getting water energy and this fiery Sagittarius energy. And what he's saying about you is that like you are on the run, you're doing what you want to do. Um, you feel like there's no one that can stop you, that can tell you what to do. You are headstrong. You are you know, doing new things. You're taking a risk. You're taking chances. That's basically, he's not saying it in that way, but he's saying like, you know what? She is just like, you know, she is turned up. She's out here in these streets. She's doing what she wants to do. And, but to you, it's about living your life to the fullest. It's about adventure. It's about taking chances. It's about risk. It's about being very creative as well and feeling free. That's what it's about to you, representing freedom. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what does he say about you behind your back? What is he saying about you? And you have here the ego, mastery. So with the ego and mastery showing up, let me just point out that straight off, you, group two, are on a spiritual path. Um, you know, a spiritual journey that's really beyond the sky. And I love how you see the beautiful woman here in the heart-shaped card. She's looking up at the sky and the rainbow. And this is exactly what the ego is representing. It's representing you being on a spiritual journey that is beyond the sky. He is telling other people that you are trying to let him go. You're trying to forget him and just leave him in the past. That's because he really is understanding that you want to soar and you know that you cannot have any sort of dead weight you know, hanging on you if you want to express yourself fully. I want to also indicate here that Spirit is giving me a clear message for you that you are guided here by the winds of spirit and that your wisdom inspires the world. So Spirit wants you to always stay focused on yourself, to continue to align with the self self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-assurance, unconditional love, and continue to put yourself first because yes, he is in his feelings and regret, feeling lost, feeling alone, but guess what? He made his bed and he must sleep in it. You've seen, you were there, you know exactly what took place in the relationship. So trust your intuition when it comes to this person. And of course, the intuition is showing up very strongly here in your reading with the water, the cups energy here, or with the sign of cancer, the cancer, zodiac sign cancer, it's ruled by the moon and the moon is the frequency of intuition. Trust your intuition in the actions that he has shown you. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more insight. What is he saying about you behind your back? And this just jumped out. Look at the eight of cups. Look at all of this cup energy. And I just mentioned cancer here. Change, fast change, moving on. He's telling people you've decided to move on. You are withdrawing your attention from him. You're not picking up your phone. You're not answering his calls or his texts. That's what he's saying. And you have changed. He's telling people that you are not the person that he met. And of course, you are evolving. But you are evolving because you are aligning with the higher and greater version of yourself. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. What is he saying about you behind your back? And you have here the sun. Yes, I love the sun showing up. The sun rules over the zodiac sign of Leo. So Leo's very significant here in the birth chart. In his birth chart or your birth chart. The sun, Leo. It's about 
material happiness. So he's saying that you are materialistic, um, only material things make you happy, but it's not about that for you. It's about prosperity and abundance and knowing that you are worthy and you are aligned with the God, the creator, the source energy. You know that the universe is abundant. So you see it as abundant. He see it as materialistic. You see it as, you know, material happiness and a joyous outcome. And so does source energy. And this is a clear message here for your reading. I love how the sun is here and then you have the rainbow and she is glowing in the sun beneath the rainbow. So this is a clear indication for you that spirit wants you to continue to focus and to align with the source, to see that you are deserving and that you are naturally, you know, to inherit the goodness of the universe. You are naturally meant to be abundant. He wants to talk you out of this frequency here. He wants you, this guy speaks of a, like a lack mindset, a poverty mindset, but you have a rich mindset. You are in the right direction here because your mindset is paired with love. It's, it's paired with, you know, compassion. And so that's why your frequency is very high here and spirit has this message for you. You are going in the right direction. He's telling people you're very materialistic and all you want is money. When... That is not true. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What does he say behind your back? Aquarius, the innovator. Aquarius is definitely very significant here in the reading. It's about you being experimental. It's also about you being unique. So he's saying that you are not like other people that he has met. And I do agree with that. But that's because you're an, innova an innovator. You want to see things change. You are also a humanitarian. And also, you're a bit eccentric and futuristic. You see the future as being very good. And he says you're very edgy. <laughs> like you will snap on him or go off. And I do believe that's true in some aspects, but he is very tr triggering. So that's what he's leaving out in the conversation that he has about you to other people. He's leaving out the fact that he does trigger you in so many ways. And so, but he's also saying that you're detached. You don't want to work on a relationship and you are very... Um, disruptive when it comes to him trying to connect with you. You are going to interrupt that journey as much as possible. So group two, this does conclude your reading. Don't forget the 222 synchronicity that is highlighted here in your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what does he say about you behind your back? I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the card representing the magician. And with the magician energy, what I am picking up from your person is that what he's saying behind your back is that you are very focused on yourself. You are into right now turning your visions into reality and like you do not really have time for him. You are only seeing what it is that you want to see. 
He's telling other people that um, he wished that he could inspire you in some way to see things from his perspective. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What does he say about you behind your back? And you have here the Ten of Coins. So with the Ten of Coins, this is about total love and contentment for the family. The Ten of Coins energy is also representing um, like a legacy, like building and leaving a legacy and an inheritance. And I, I see where this is you. This is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about the family. You're thinking about the future. And this is what he says about you. I feel like you do have these conversations with this person on how you are definitely forward future thinking, forward thinking, and you want to build something for your family. So this is a part of the conversation that he does have about you to some people. The Ten of Coins energy is earth sign energy. So it's Taurus, Sag not yes, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. In the sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus in your birth chart or his birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. I do love how with the magician card, the magician card, the, the, um, he's looking at the, the, the contentment, the legacy here for the family. He's looking at and he's building here. He's always thinking about the family. This is what he's telling other people that, yes, you are you are loyal to your family. Let's get more insight. What does he say about you behind your back? Thank you, Spirit. You have here the 11th house, the edge. Let me point out that the 11th house does rule over the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius definitely could be in the top placements of your birth chart. The 11th house rules over groups, friends, and luck. So he's saying something about you in regards to you being in a group or something to do with your friendships and how, you know, he's very concerned with you hooking up with people of like-minded thoughts, like-minded actions. I feel like he is very insecure about your creative ventures and you forming your own community, your own tribe. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. What is he saying about you behind your back? And you have here the Puffin Partnership. I love the Puffins showing up in partnership, especially since we just got the insight seconds earlier about the 11th house and groups here, discoveries, common goals, startups. He's telling people that you're also very rebellious in nature and that he cannot talk to you. He can't get through to you unless it's something that you want to talk about. I feel like here that it's because of the puffin energy that you have accepted yourself and your colorful personality and he has not. I feel like you feel confident about being you and that's what he's very insecure of. I feel like you're a joy bringer, you know, you you like to spread light, light-hearted conversations. And this is also about you letting your community nourish and protect you. And you don't mind giving help to others as well as asking for help. It's about teamwork. Spirit wants you to know, too, that also teamwork will give you the best results. So you were wondering about something creatively. Should you reach out? Should you connect with other people? I find this quite confirming, especially with the 11th house lining up with the Puffin partner relationship here. You're encouraged to step out of your comfort zone. You have been seeking this route. So go for it. No matter how this person feels about it, continue. Let's get more insight. What does he say about you behind your back? Thank you, Spirit. What does he say about you behind your back? You have here the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, this is about communication, air sign, energy, Sag uh, 
Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements of the birth chart that I did mention moments earlier as a confirmation in his reading or your reading. He's telling people that you're very ambitious and that you do have a lot of strength. One thing he does say about you is that you do speak the truth. <laughs> That's one thing he does say about you. Even if you are standing up for yourself or taking up for someone else, you will speak the truth. This queen of swords energy is about you being totally self-sufficient. He tells other people that you can definitely take care of yourself. But what he's really concerned with is that you being this queen, being able to take care of yourself, but he knows that you can get someone to take care of you as well. A king can take care of you as well. He knows that you are definitely vibrating in that frequency where there is an alpha male that will take care of you, but you don't need him to. You can take care of yourself. I feel like he's insecure and worried about that as well. But let's get more insight. What does he say about you behind your back? Oh, this card just jumps out of the deck. Let's see what it is. Look at this, the Four of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords coming out back to back. This is a very strong confirmation here. This is a, definitely about how you're communicating right now. The Four of Swords is about you going into solitude, you cutting him off, not talking to him as much as you were before. It's also about you recovering, you know, um, retreat and resting. One thing he does say about you behind your back is that you do look good. You do look refreshed and renewed. You look a lot younger than your age. So that is a wonderful compliment that he is giving other people about you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what is he saying about you behind your back? And I just, I'm going to shuffle like this with this deck because I feel like my fingers just feels like this is the way we should do it. Okay, so here you have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So with this insight, this is definitely about him wanting to come together with you to make new memories. He thinks about you all the time. He knows that you are very connected with your family, the people that you do love and hold dear to you. He sees you as being very trustworthy, very dedicated, and very appreciative of your friends, of your family, of the memories that you do make. He does tell other people that you are... Um, you do have persistent boundaries up. You know, you are maintaining your boundaries. It's something to do with you protecting your energy from him. But he is saying that it is because you are closed off and you don't have the same perspective that he does have regarding the relationship. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.